Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, we're going to talk a little bit more about unit vectors. Recall a unit vector is a vector whose norm or magnitude uh, is equal to 1. So it's a vector of length 1. So first, let's talk about what's called the standard unit vectors. So standard unit vectors in the plane. So standard unit vectors in the plane. So by the plane, we mean the, the x, y xy plane. So the first standard unit vector uh, is i hat. So it's an i, and it's a vector, so we typically put a hat on it. You can also write it like this, i with a little arrow. I usually use i hat. And it's the vector whose first component is 1, and its second component is 0. The other standard unit vector for the plane is j hat. And this vector is 0 and 1. So if you were to draw these in the xy plane, it would look like this. There's the y-axis, there's the x-axis. And so let's see, uh, i hat uh, would be 1 comma 0. So its initial point is 0, 0, and its terminal point is 1, 0. So if this is 1 parentheses 0, then i hat is this, this yellow vector here. That's i hat. And then j hat, uh, its initial point is 0, 0, and its terminal point is uh, 0, 1. So then j hat would be this, this purple vector here. So that would be j hat. And these are called uh, the standard unit vectors uh, in the plane. And so these are really useful because you can do stuff uh, like this. Check this out. So say I have a vector v written in a component form. So v1, v sub 1, comma v sub 2. Well, what you can do is you can do something tricky. You can write this like v sub 1 comma 0 plus 0 comma v sub 1. So let me pause here and explain that. So you can check that the addition works, right? v1 plus 0 is v1. 0 plus, uh, let's just say v2. So v1 plus 0 is v1. 0 plus v2 is v2. So the addition checks, right? So because if you add this and this, you get this. And if you add this and this, you get this. Then you can do something even funkier. You can, you can factor out v1, right? You can do that uh, via scalar multiplication. Then you can pull out v2 here. So you get 0, 1. And then you realize that this is v sub 1, i hat, plus v sub 2, j hat. So v, our vector v, is a linear combination uh, of i hat and j hat. So v is a linear combination. That's what that's called. It's called the linear combination. Right? Linear combination of i hat and j hat. Okay. So we can take a vector in component form and write it in I guess what we can call uh, ij form or write it as a linear combination of, of unit vectors. Uh, v1 has a name in this case. You can think of uh, v sub 1 this is the, you can think of this as being the horizontal component. So this is the horizontal component of, of the vector v, which makes sense, right? It's, it's like the x component. It's the first component. And you can think of v sub 2, you can think of this as being the vertical component. So vertical component of, of the vector v, right? Of the vector v, okay, of the vector v. Uh, sometimes we have a question where we have to find a unit vector, and we want it to be in the same direction as v. So let's talk about that. So unit vector, it's a key concept, unit vector in the direction of the vector v. So why would we want to do this? Well, sometimes you have a situation uh, as follows. So say this is the y-axis. And this is the x-axis. So this is x, and this is y. Okay, and then maybe we have a vector um, that looks like this. I'll, I'll keep it green. There's there's our vector right there. So this vector here is uh, v. So this is the vector v. This green vector is v. And you know maybe maybe the length of v. I don't know what the length is, but maybe the the length of v is equal to five, right? So so this distance here. This is the terminal point of v is 5, right? The magnitude of v is 5. So we want to find a vector, uh, which we can call u, 
which is also in the direction of v, so going, going in the same way, but we want it to be one-fifth of the length. So maybe u would look something like this. So this would be the terminal point of our little baby vector u. So we want u to be a unit vector in the same direction as v. So what we can do is we just take the vector v, right, and we divide it by 5, <laughs> right, because we want to make the magnitude 1. So we divide it by the magnitude of v. And whenever you take the magnitude of this vector, this, we'll call this u, um, you should get 1. So if I do it over here, check this out. If I take the magnitude of u, that's equal to the magnitude of the vector v divided by the magnitude of v. But we know that the magnitude, so here we get the magnitude of v up top. And on the bottom, we get the magnitude of the magnitude of v. It's the same thing as the magnitude of v. These cancel, and so you get 1, as long as v is not 0. So u is a unit vector. So whenever you have uh, a vector, and you're trying to find a unit vector in the same direction, you just divide by the magnitude. This process of taking a vector and making it have a magnitude 1 is called normalizing. So we're normalizing v. Let's do an example. Say we have the vector v, and I'll keep it really, really simple. Say the vector is, I don't know, um, 1, 2, just another really simple vector. And the question is, find a unit vector in the direction of v. So in the direction of v. So find a unit vector in the same direction um, as v. So solution. In other words, in other words, normalize, right? That's the word. That's how pros say it. Normalize v. So we're going to normalize our vector. We, we've got v, and we want to shrink it, right? We want to, or, or expand it, depending on what size, the size of v. We want to make it have um, a, a length 1. So the first thing we do is we compute the magnitude of v, OK? So compute the magnitude of v. So that's going to be the square root of uh, 1 squared plus 2 squared. Piece of cake, right? So 1 plus 4 is 5. So that's the length of, of v. So our unit vector, all we do for, to find our unit vector u, is you just take v and you divide it by the square root of 5. So what you're really doing is you're multiplying by 1 over the square root of 5 times the vector v, so 1 comma 2. And then all you do is distribute the scalar. This is a scalar, right? Scalar multiplication. So you end up with 1 over the square root of 5, 2 over the square root of 5. And that is our unit vector. So we have essentially normalized v. We've taken v, and we've turned it into a unit vector. So the magnitude of this vector, the mag here, is 1. And you can check. Let's go ahead and check for fun. Let's, let's find the magnitude directly of, of u. So magnitude of u is equal to the magnitude of the super awesome vector. And this is equal to the square root. And then you just square these guys, right? So 1 over square root of 5 squared plus, and this will be 2 over the square root of 5 squared, right? Just squaring the components, right? That's all you do. That's the formula for the magnitude. And um, so here you get square root. So when you square 1 over the square root of 5, you just get 1 fifth. When you square 2 over, the, 2 over the square root of 5, you square the 2, you get 4. You square the square root of 5, you get 5. So you get 1 fifth plus 4 fifths. That's 5 fifths which is 1 squared of 1 is 1, boom. So u is a unit vector, right, because it has a magnitude of 1. So whenever you have to find a unit vector in the direction of another vector, you just take your vector and you divide by its magnitude, and you get a vector pointing in the same direction that has magnitude 1. And this process, right, this process of doing this, the process of creating this unit vector is called normalizing. So we've normalized our vector v. I hope this video made sense. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.